Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. This is episode 63 of Lightroom Quick Tips. In this episode, I'm going to show you how you could get porcelain skin on your model using Lightroom. Now, as you might imagine, I get a lot of email and often people email me suggestions. They read something somewhere and they thought it might make a great video. And I really do appreciate it when folks send me suggestions. And John Meacham recently sent me this suggestion. He said that he read it in Scott Kelby's blog. So I checked it out. And typically, uh, porcelain skin is very popular. Uh, something that probably was more popular, to tell you the truth, in the late 90s, early 2000s. But it is still done quite often. And uh, Lindsay Adler comes to mind. She's a New York-based photographer, and she often does fashion shoots and does a porcelain skin look. Now this specific look that I'm going to show you done in Lightroom, according to Scott Kelby, was originally done by um, Calvin Hollywood. Calvin Hollywood is a German photographer who's a great teacher. Unfortunately, most of his stuff is in German, but he does have some stuff in English. So if you ever want to learn uh, some Photoshop and Lightroom techniques, you could check out Calvin Hollywood as well. Now, typically when I do porcelain skin, I use Photoshop. I don't use Lightroom. And I really wasn't aware of this technique until John Meacham emailed me about it. It does have some shortcomings doing it in Lightroom. And I purposely picked this image to show you this technique because I want you aware of the problems you may encounter and what you could do to avoid them. Now, to get the porcelain look in, in Lightroom is very easy. Uh, you just go to the HSL Color B&W tab, you go to this Saturation sub-tab, and you go to the orange slider, and you're going to take this orange saturation and pull it all the way down. Now, when I did that, this is one of the problems you'll have. You can see now there's red, obviously, on Courtney's hat and sweater. and it affects other colors in your image. So you have to be aware of that. So we pulled the saturation of the orange all the way down. Next, we're going to go to the luminance sub tab. And according to Scott Kelby's blog, you would take this and you would turn it all the way up. And it does give us the porcelain skin look. But in this case, it's a little bit blown out now because it's causing her uh, to lose details in her face over here. So in that case, what you'll have to do is go to your basic tab and you will have to probably pull your highlights down and maybe your white uh, slider down a little, little bit to try to get some of that detail back. But that really is the porcelain skin look. Um, and, you know, it, like I mentioned, it's a very popular look and it's still done quite often today. You could check out the work of Lindsay Adler uh, if you want to see some more of this kind of look. It's common in fashion shoots. Now, what I thought I'd do is tomorrow I'll do another video. I'm going to do a Photoshop quick tips video and show you how I do this in Photoshop. Photoshop is a little better because you could do it without affecting anything else in the image. This is a relatively simple picture here, I just had Courtney in front of a white seamless paper background, but that might not be the case for you. You might have your model in front of a very complex scene, and if you're turning orange all the way down uh, as far as saturation, you might affect a lot of other colors in the background or in that scene, and you might not want that to happen. That's when you really need Photoshop, and I know a lot of you folks now are you uh, purchased the Photoshop CC package or the photographer's package from Adobe that includes Photoshop. So I'll show you how to do that tomorrow in that Photoshop quick tips video. Again, I'd like to thank John Meacham for giving me this idea for this video. I hope that helps you and I hope this does come in handy. I'll talk to you guys soon.